Welcome back everybody, Chad Zutter here with Monster Buck Food Plots. You can always visit us online at www.monsterbuckfoodplot.com. In this video we're going to talk about liming and fertilizing your food plot. First and foremost we recommend getting a soil test done before doing this as a soil test will give you proper recommendations on your fertilization and your liming needs. If you haven't had a soil test done or you don't want to go that route, you always recommend using a triple 10 or triple 15 type of fertilizer. Understanding what crops respond to this type types of fertilizer is also another thing to consider. Grasses such as oats or corn uh, love nitrogen. Your legumes which would be peas, alfalfa, clover, they're going to like potash. Nitrogen would be the first number on your fertilizer bag. Potash, also known as potassium, would be the last number on your fertilizer bag. Now let's move into liming your food plot. Uh, if you've had a soil test done, you're going to know the pH of your soil. And if it's very acidic, you'd want to lime to move that pH up so you have a more uh, option of crops to grow. With a low pH, if you do have one, you're going to be able to probably grow clovers initially as they're the most adaptable to the lower pH soil. If you ever have any questions on fertilizing or liming your food plot, feel free to email us. Sales at monsterbuckfoodplot.com. Until next time, happy planning.